And you're listening to the Paul and Paula story on Radioactive Gold, as told by Ray Hildebrand and Jill Jackson Landon. Being called America's Sweethearts was a handle that Phillips Records conjured up. And as you'd expect, record buyers, well, they were convinced that Ray and Jill, Paul and Paula, were an item. Execs at Phillips were elated that their publicity campaign worked because it meant record sales. And of course, that was the bottom line. Major Bill Smith tried to convince VJ Records at first to take Hey Paula. Well, they turned him down. But after seeing the success of that record on the Major's LeCam label, VJ quickly paired Jerry Butler and Betty Everett. Well, what about being known as America's Sweethearts? Did that bother Jill Jackson? It was pertaining to the song. And Way and I were and still are extremely good friends. I love him very, very much. Um... We we just we just were Paul and Paula, you know, just whatever they needed us to be, we were, I guess. I, I don't know. I've never thought about that, really. Well, maybe Jill never really thought about it, but Ray did constantly, and I found him to be very candid, and he says what's on his mind. And in this case of he and Jill being called America's sweetheart, Ray said that he hated living a lie. The record company... And Major Bill, you know, they they made us, I say they made us, the whole part of the promotion and advertising on Paul and Paula was that we really, really, really were sweethearts. So every place that we were, we would go being interviewed by people such as yourself and others at television, be it in England, Japan, we had to fake it like we really were sweethearts. And I got tired of living a lie like that, and I, it was just getting worse and worse, and so I just, you know, slowly but surely, I just, I said, I can't, I don't want to do that. I don't mind. I love singing, but I don't like to do, have a public lie out there. But Jill Jackson was and still is a looker. She could walk into a room, turn heads, and leave the boys breathless. Surely there had to be some romantic interest on Ray's behalf. After all, he and Jill spent a lot of time together, and I asked him if he was or wanted to be romantically involved with her. I can become real back back home, but they had some because we've remained friends all these years. And and uh, when uh, I told you back at the others, when Judy, my uh, the one I did marry, when we broke up, and then I wrote the song "Hey Paula" for my friend Russell. Uh, then up walks Jill, this beautiful. Uh, she was she was a spitting image of Annette Funicello who had that song too. Uh, she walks up and, and and would I help her on this little radio show? And so I said yes. And so she was a knockout. And she here she was. I'd never sung with a girl before, and so there was a new little deal there, and that was kind of cool. We kind of got close. I mean, music kind of brought she and I together. And so I asked her out uh, to go to see Exodus. I think was the movie, and we. I think a car ran out of gas, <laughs> whatever, and uh, I didn't know I, I didn't know what to do with her. So I took her home, and so I kissed her, and uh, and I don't know. I'd be probably be said yuck, you know, like brother and sister or something. And so, but we did have a date, and I, I, you know, she was a, my beautiful sister. After that, I guess you'd say that I had a lot of respect for her, and and uh, I had promised her mother I'd watch over her, and. Uh, She'd, she'd come at these parties, and these men would be hitting on her. She'd come over and pop down in my lap, and, and I'd kind of stare at them, you know, give them a hard stare. Or some guy in, in New Orleans tried to jerk her off the stage because she was so beautiful, and I'd yeah, give him a little kick, you know, or something. So I was kind of like her protector out on the road. And uh, so there was, that, you know, there was some there was some attraction there, I'll have to, I'll have to say. In October of 1957, Keen Records released Sam Cooke's very first single, You Send Me, which has become a certified classic. Well, Ray and Jill covered that song, and as you'd expect, gave the song a brand new feel with their rendition. From the vault, here's another Paul and Paul of Lost Memory on Radio Active Gold. Yes, 
That's You Send Me, a great rendition of the all-time classic from Paul and Paula, right here on Radioactive Gold. 